I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I was raised just by my mom and my sister. One income for two kids was kind of tough to stretch. So coming up, even from like the age of seven, uh, I got used to not having hot water in the house and understanding that we weren't the same as everyone else. We went through some stuff, moving from house to house, trying to make ends meet as much as possible. And then when I was 15, we became homeless. That was about as bad as it got. Finally, after nine months, we got into a house. But my mom was unemployed, my sister was unemployed at the time. So I immediately got a work permit and I would walk two miles a day to get to work. I've been working there for a couple months and just one day that I was walking that I was thinking about it all. And I was thinking about the fact that like I had been through quite a bit and that because of that, I knew a lot about how tough the world can be and how to deal with that just inspired me and I kind of saw the path that I was headed on and I was like, this is the beginning of a really good story. Once I decided what my goals were and what I wanted to achieve in life, I decided that there was no settling involved. My dream was to be a mechanical engineer in the automotive industry. I was aware of Michigan State University's engineering program and their ties to the automotive industry. I made that decision to come to Michigan State, and even though some might have said that it was difficult, for me there was no other option. It was the best thing for me, therefore it was the thing that I was going to do. The St. Louis Spartans are part of the Michigan State University Alumni Association, and I am the recipient of their 2013, 2014, 2014, 2015, and 2015, 2016 endowment scholarship. When I first received the scholarship from the St. Louis Spartans, I made sure to write them a letter explaining how much that scholarship really did mean to me and how much it was doing for me. In the first two years, I experienced a lot of setbacks and obstacles to staying enrolled at Michigan State. I was actually disenrolled several times. The financial gap was huge. My expected family contribution was zero. I really had to stick with my goal and understand that this was where I wanted to be and this is what I was going to fight for no matter what happened. Doing that alone was one of the hardest things I've had to do. Sometimes I wouldn't be able to go to class because I had to go to the financial aid office and go and say I need to find some money somewhere. And then if something comes through it's just a wash of relief and I know that I'm home for another day and it just makes you feel like I've been working so hard to come here and I've worked so hard to get to this point in my life and for them to acknowledge it and say we understand and we want you here as badly as you want to be here, it's an amazing thing and I couldn't feel more at home because of that. At MSU I've had the great opportunity of having several internships with tier one automotive suppliers and really doing the work that I want to be doing in my future. At one point in time they asked me to go out to a plant and I didn't know that we were going to be taking a company jet. I've never been on a plane before and it made me be like, this has come a long way in, in a short time too, from not having a house or a car to being able to walk onto this jet and with my colleagues and professional business attire. It was just kind of a really euphoric feeling and kind of just, I'm making it. And it was a great experience just to be able to know that I am successfully working towards the lifestyle that I'm trying to achieve. Now that I'm set up here at Michigan State, I've been able to be an active part of the community. I'm an RA, a resident assistant in the East Neighborhood, and now that I'm here, I want to help other students, and I want to help them find their way. I'm so thankful for everything that I've gotten thus far. I can't thank donors enough. They're giving me my life. They're giving me the option to succeed, and I'm just really excited to you know, take their gift and what they're giving me and push forward with it and work towards my goal of graduation and then moving on into my career from there and hopefully help someone else just like me and, you know, pay it forward back to Michigan State and be part of the family on the other side now. For me, walking across that stage will be a big moment.